Okay, welcome back again. In the previous episode, we have created uh, those three buttons, one to show a message box, another to show a save file dialog, and the third one to open a file, choose or select multiple files from uh, the user's PC. Right now, we will see how we can take advantage of the open file dialog and save file dialog to read and write to the file system. Because we are in the Blazor server or it's in general an ASP.NET Core application, so we can directly write to the file server to the file system using the stream writer reader or file stream or the streams available in the .NET Core. So to do this, first I will go here and I will create a function void or better to create a separated service, I will create a new folder sorry, in the root folder, call it services I will create a new file, call it file system service .cs okay, using system using system.io and namespace the namespace called blazor desktop demo okay and within this namespace I will create an interface I file files service this file service will have two functions for now write to file takes two parameters the file path and the content of the file and another one okay retry read from file string file path and it returns a string for us now let's create an implementation files service I file service like that okay we have to implement that function that interface sorry okay click implement that's good now regard reading from file it's going to be very easy var stream equals new stream reader take the file path and we should return the stream dot read to end just like this it's going very very easy now let's copy this or just this line paste it here and this one is going to be stream writer take the file path then stream dot write content okay that's good right now i have a service because i can use it in multiple places within your applications okay let's go to the startup.cs to the configure service services and let's register that service here services.add scoped i files service files service like that Okay, come on and we are just ready to go let's go back to the dialog.razor and let me inject using the inject uh, near i files service call it files service okay that's just perfect now another thing I want to do is to create to design or Let's create class row F class oh, six like this. Now we create a text area placeholder your content here so the user can read and write text here, save it, or open a file. So let's create a variable so let's 
let's create a variable here and call it text content equals string dot empty okay then I will bind this one at bind to add text content like that that's perfect and now for the save file dialog here when the user clicks this file I want to take the content from the text area and uh, save it into a file from by the file that the user selects so let's make a check that the user selects a file and they didn't just cancel the dialog so in this case I will call files service dot write to file and it takes two parameters the file path this one selected from the user there is a save file dialog and the second one which is the content text content yeah it's very easy now let's move to the open file dialog okay here I have the user can select multiple file to open but I will take only the first one so let's make a check that the user selects selected files not equals to null or selected files dot any here this one is and which means it's not null and it contains values in this case file service dot read from file and selected files zero put this within that text content equals to file service dot read from file okay that's awesome right now let's run our application to see how things going clear dot net build and it'll get draw nice start okay this is our application let's open dialogs here perfect I will type something hello world from blazer and Elketron I will click on save file dialog call it my first message choose text file and I will click save that's perfect let's go back here and here we have a text file called my first message let's try to open it and hello world from blazer this one needs to be fixed and the drone that's just perfect now let me try to clean the content here and i will click on show open file dialog let's go to text file and choose my first message and the vice versa happened that's very amazing actually the same way you can type a text file you can type bytes or whatever type of files you have you can deal with it the same way that was very good and pretty simple as you have seen the integration between the file dialog and the file system in Blazor server that was very very easy till the moment that was everything for this session if you have any questions always your questions are welcomed in the uh, comment section below or on the, my twitter account uh, yeah so also you can find all everything we work on on the github repository the link in the description box below thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video